sold 2 million songs digitally, hit 72 on the Billboard's Top 100, and is an international sensation selling out every venue in Asia. And he's only 24. This is Into the Music. Rock Hard. The R. Cole Story. Alright, um, so, um... Oh, hold on. I need... I... You need to tell me when you're rolling, because my glasses need to be on. Is, is there a reason why your glasses are Uh, because they need to be on. The world's not ready to see the diamonds in my head. R. Cole, or Wilson Reyes, has been rapidly rising to the top of the rap world. This unlikely tale originated in the coal mines of Thermopolis, Wyoming. CVX visited Rocky C, Cole's childhood friend, to find out more. Growing up with him? Yeah, he's a hard guy. He's really hard. We met when we was 12. I, uh, he was getting beat up by all these little kids. He was getting beat up by these kids, and he was rapping. You know, that's how hard he is. He was rapping. I still remember them lyrics. It was like, You can't hurt me. So stop trying to hurt me, cause it's really hurting, so stop. After that, I knew he was going to be big. But as a youth from ET Wyoming, this was no easy task. Hey guys, I'm Frank Lee, I'm from uh, Topeka, Kansas, and I am probably R. Cole's biggest fan. I was about uh, 15, uh, and I was getting beaten up in high school, and it just, his stuff kind of helped me through that time in my life. He kind of grew up in a very uh, non-diverse area. You didn't see a lot of people in Wyoming who were Asian and a minority rapping. Well, when I first met R. Cole, he wasn't even called R. Cole. He was called Wilson. My first impression of the boy was, you know what? For a Chinaman, he's got a pretty good rhyme. Which is funny, because he ain't even a Chinaman. Shanghai, what's up? Shang, do it with me. Hi. Yeah, y'all ready? Fanbase Empire is attributed to his inspirational music, which has moved millions globally. Cole's last chick was bad like a Big Mac. House in the hills gonna super suck that. Never gonna give any girl an inch. Dollars and cents, put your bank on that shit. But as a youth from ET Wyoming, this was no easy task. It's like in a town of 250, you got two brown people. I was gonna grow. I was gonna be more than the 307, and I wasn't gonna let anything hold me down. We just got the confidence, and I kept going with him. And then we just we rolled like rocks. We rolled from city to city, and then we became hard. And I told him, boy, if you go to Asia, you can make some money. You can make a name for yourself. And that's when he said, you know what, Miss Molasses, that's a sweet plan. Shanghai loves me right now. I'm, uh, I mean, like I said, there's a reason why I'm on the third leg of my tour. To be honest, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, people are doing worse out there, you know, huffing air conditioners, um, sucking on gasoline, you know, it's, it can't be that bad. Every day he was there sniffing and huffing, and I just, I, I, it hurt me to watch him. It's hard to say that I did have an addiction to Pledge. This is my, my last bottle, right here. If you uh, listen to it, it's kind of empty. So you should have asked that before you said I was still addicted, because I'm not. You can't say that there's there's a top part of the rock, and then there's no bottom part of the rock, you know? Um, but, you know, I mean, it's like it's like a nice little reminder that it's like it's here, and it's just uh, that I don't really need it all the time, but it's a nice thing to have. Like, even if you press it, it's not going to... Oh, there's still some left. Um, yeah, no, I'm not addicted. It's just, it's just there for a nice reminder. Because nowadays there's brown people everywhere, and then there's yellow people everywhere, and there's red people everywhere. And it doesn't matter, you know? It's like, everyone's, everyone's cool now. Everyone likes everyone. If I didn't try to be who I am and stick to what I want to do, I wouldn't have been able to actually try and be what I am. Because in the end, it's because of who I am. I am what I am, and I do what I want, and I'm out here in Shanghai. So when we make it to the big stage, that's when we might take off our glasses. So you can see our diamonds, how rock hard we are. <laughs>